Now I'm going to talk you through the NoFly Zone uh, DJI Go 4 app feature. So you're probably wondering what is it available on, and it is available on uh, the following uh, devices. So that's uh, the Mavic 4 Pro, the Phantom 4, the Inspire 2, and the Mavic Pro, and at the time of this release, the new Phantom 4 Advanced. So where do you find this feature? Um, you basically, uh, you just click on the top right here where you see the three little arrows and then it'll drop down uh, your options and you select no fly zone. So when you do that, it boots up a, uh, a map that looks very similar to Google, um, Google Maps. Uh, you just select what region you're in, um, what country you're in, and uh, there's a version tab there as well. There's old versus new, which... Uh, not sure why they present that, but uh, it's default is the latest. So I'm assuming if you want to look at aerial information, you want to look at the latest and greatest. So I made the mistake here of just typing in a state, which I was going for California. Uh, it did not like this. It did not want to predict uh, anything that I was typing in. So I decided to uh, just, uh, you know, backpedal and uh, just go, uh, you know, instead for an actual uh, state um, that included a city. So you can see here I'm zooming out and I'm zooming in and, uh, you know, I wasn't able to really uh, see any information. So wasn't a fan of that method. You have to be very specific about where you are looking to go. So I typed in Los Angeles. So instead of going to California, I went to Los Angeles. And of course, there it auto predicts it. And here you puts a pin in there and they get to see a load of uh, no-fly information. So, you know, basically uh, you can zoom in on the map here and uh, you can get a little bit more accurate about where you're going and uh, you can investigate the no-fly warnings um, that, uh, you know, you might want to investigate a little bit more about. So you saw there to move the actual map, you just use two fingers there. You don't hold and press, you use two fingers and swipe it around. Um, you know, not all of these are no-fly restrictions. You know, some are more serious than others. Um, you know, you have a de detailed breakdown here. It's basic traffic light system. You've got the, uh, the green and the yellow and the red. So the, the two greens are, uh, you know, warnings, um, you know, but, uh, you know, basically it's, you know, essentially safe. Uh, you know, you've got the amber here where uh, you have to pay more attention and, um, you know, provide some form of notification uh, because you are closer to a actual uh, air zone uh, that might be an airport or a helipad. And then you've got um, green here, uh, sorry, red, which is restricted and uh, obviously uh, off limits for a lot of hobbyists. So you can take a look through and just uh, click to see what, um, you know, what applies to you and, um, you know, like I said, you, you've really got two versions here. So I, I, I didn't investigate the, uh, the old version, <coughs> but I did decide to investigate uh, different countries. And as you can see here, it's uh, pretty in-depth. This is uh, default to North America. So you can pretty much go in there and switch it to any country you'd like. Um, so if you are going on vacation, you can take a look there. Uh, you know, you're planning a trip abroad. Uh, you know, you're curious about what your restrictions might be in that region. Uh, you can jump in and uh, select that location. So for me, I took a look at United Kingdom here and uh, just have a little peek and uh, see what I can find using this, uh, using this map. So, you know, I'll be honest with you, you know, there's already an app out there. There's quite a few apps out there already. I'm, I'm default into Air Map. Uh, Air map is basically the same thing, just a lot easier to use and uh, has a lot more information and it is a free app just like this. Uh, you know, I like where DJI Go for app is going with this. Um, you know, I'm all for safer flying, I think everybody is. Um, but I don't know why DJI Go just don't go ahead and just straight out purchase Air map or get into partnership with them and have them be the default. Um, browsing option for, uh, for for map information here. Uh, Air map. I'll, I'll link a video here in the description, and um, you know you can uh, see my review of that. But not only is you, are you able to go in and see where you want to fly, but it also shows up uh, what um, 
is your problems in the in the local area, whether it's airports, helipads, schools, um, you know, temporary flight restrictions. But it also provides telephone numbers of tower controls areas where you can call and you actually can give them a heads up that you're going to be flying within the vicinity of an airport. So MAP um, for me is the preferred tool. It doesn't. Um, it just totally beats what DJI have in, embedded in their own app here already. So what I recommend you do is not really use it and just use AirMap instead. Uh, I think it's a lot more robust, uh, useful, um, you know, application. And, uh, you know, one of the big things about AirMap is you can create a digital notification, a flight log, which you can send digitally to uh, airports nearby. So you don't even need to call them. So all around, uh, AirMap gets uh, two thumbs up from me and uh, the DJI Go No Fly portion of the app does get a thumbs down. It just definitely, it's a good start, but um, it's got a long way to come. I hope that you find this video of interest. I'd be very interested to hear what you think about the app and uh, the new feature of No Fly Zone Map. Uh, leave uh, any comments below. Thanks again.